Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show as BB Show. That's me as I wrap up my morning. Next, we're going to be talking money. Yeah, one of your favorite topics. I'm talking to Tanya Ropley. She's here because she's teamed up with Chase Slate Edge and she is their resident financial expert and spokesperson. Tanya, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you for being here to talk finances with my audience. Tell me about Chase Slate Edge. First of all, what is that? So the Chase Slate Edge is a unique card that was designed to help people achieve their financial goals. And what I mean by that is the card is competitive in terms of it doesn't have an annual fee. It has an APR that's designed to go down 2% each year, which is big. It also provides automatic credit limit increases after a minimum spend and paying on time for six months. So it's going to have those benefits baked in to help people achieve their financial and credit goals sooner. So is this card designed to take you from little credit to better credit? Is that, is that the goal behind it? So little credit to better credit does depend on a few factors, but it is designed to be a valuable tool and credit cards are a valuable tool in approving your finances. And so whether that is maintaining a a 30% utilization or below 30% utilization, paying on time, those are two things that are major factors in your credit score. And they also want to see that you're using your credit responsibly. So by responsibly using this card, you're more likely to build and grow your credit score. Okay. Give us some advice when it comes to saving money, if, if you can do that for us. Yeah, absolutely. So when it comes to saving money, you definitely want, I always say, take it small. Some people say, you know, I want to save, you know, a month of my salary, but they've never saved a hundred dollars. So let's start small. Let's work on saving more than you've ever saved before. So let's start with that hundred. Then we push it up to maybe 500. We push it up to a thousand. I also recommend that people create an inconvenient savings account. So that's a savings account that might not be connected to your primary checking account. So that is something that it doesn't make it as easy for you to transfer money from your savings account to your checking account for non-emergencies or non-required spending. So create those boundaries for yourself as well as find ways to hold yourself accountable. Whether you're working on your credit goals or working on your savings goals or investing goals, becoming part of a community that's working towards like-minded financial goals is really important because sometimes we don't have those people around us in our lives. So I would say go online and see if you can find a community online. Or in my instance, I started a blog that was my accountability partner and now here we are almost nine years later Later, I've been able to achieve financial security and a business that empowers others to do the same. You talk about preparing your financial future. What do you mean by that? Preparing your financial future means that you are squaring away the important elements. So that is your credit score, your savings, growing your investments. And I also say that your salary or income is an important part of that financial foundation. So when people start their financial journey, they often feel overwhelmed trying to do everything at once. And I say just focus on one thing at a time get that that particular portion in good standing and then focus on the next thing. But you'll also find that they all start to work together. So by improving your income, sometimes that allows you to pay down debt, which helps you improve your credit score, which also will help you put money aside for savings. And so they all start to work together, but you can focus on one thing. And that Chase Slate Credit Survey found that 81% of Americans are actively trying to improve their credit score. So if you're focused on your credit score, let's start with those behaviors that are gonna help you boost your credit score and then we can work on everything else. Tanya, I see in your bio that you were chosen as the new face of wealth by Black Enterprise Magazine and you were selected as a modern history maker by TV One. What allowed you to ascend to those accolades? 
You know, I say that it's consistency, consistency and accountability, having that accountability, holding me accountable for achieving the goals. I deem financial success as doing what you said you would do with your money. So being consistent and doing what I said I would do with my money and educating myself on how money works and what are the best choices for me to make related to my personal financial goals. This chase card that you're talking about, will it help those that are listening now and saying, look, you don't understand me. I got a nine to five. I'm not making that much. Things are high. How can I change my life? Will this card kind of help start jumpstart people who are thinking like that? So Jumpstart, you know, it can be a valuable tool. And as I mentioned, a credit card can be a tool. So the great thing about credit cards is, you know, you know, whether the, it's important for you to have a job, but your type of job doesn't necessarily matter. It's how you are utilizing that card. So it can really give someone a chance who feels like, you know, they still have work to do when it comes to their finances, but they are dedicated and they're diligent in paying on time, using a card responsibly and ensuring that they keep that balance low and aren't maxing out their cards. So it can be a tool for anyone one as long as you're using it responsibly the slate edge card where can they uh, chase slate edge card how do they get it where do they find out more about it online i know it's a tongue twister right but you can find <laughs> it at creditcards.chase.com Danya, i wish you the best success and i'll be looking for you to get more accolades because you seems like you know a lot about finances thanks for being my guest on the valder bb show <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.